All right, vegan nerds, it is Friday. We are gonna do literature together. So let's open up our book to page, let's see, page 16. It should look like this. All right, vegan nerds, so I'm gonna go ahead and read this way just because as you can see, my book is breaking quite bad. All right, so starting from the top, point with me on your book and say it as I say it. Far north in the fog and darkness lay the island of Iceland. Here, under black mountains, belching smoke and fire, the stories of the great seafarers, the Vikings, were passed down from father to son. So that means, um, uh, someone would hear a story and then they'd grow up and they'd have children and they'd tell their son. And then the little boy would grow up and he'd be an old man and he'd tell who his son. So the stories are being passed down from generation to generation. Now Icelanders told Columbus the saga, the saga of Leif Erikson. Whether Columbus heard this story in Iceland or in England, nobody knows for certain. At the time when the first Christian king ruled Norway, he sent Leif Erikson off to carry the faith to the Northmen of Greenland. So there was a king and what happened? He wanted people to hear the what? The word of God. But did people, did, did every, sorry, did everyone know the word of God? No, they didn't. So he chose who? Leif Erikson to take the word to other people who did not know the word. For they were still heathens. Heathens means they did not know a God or they had gods but not the true God. Leif wanted to do what no other sailor had done before him. Ooh, who does that sound like? Leif Erikson sounds a lot like Christopher Columbus. He wanted to what? Do something that no one else had done before. He sailed straight west across the ocean to reach Greenland without landing on the way for weeks a great storm tossed the ship about Ooh, scary he missed Greenland but he came to a strange coast still farther west on the other side of the ocean so he finally what after this big old storm he finally landed this unknown land was Fair. That means it was beautiful. The Northmen wanted to settle here, but fierce, dark-skinned natives drove the Vikings off. Who's that? An Indian. Five centuries had passed, and now the way to these lands had been forgotten. But Leif Erikson's saga had been written down. See how they have the stories written down? When Columbus heard this story, a fire was lit in him that was never to be extinguished. So what happened? Because remember it said that the father would tell the son a story of who? Leif Erikson. And then when that little boy grew up, he told who? His son. And then that boy grew up and he told his son. And then what would happen? They would write the stories down of Leif Erikson. And what happened when Christopher Columbus was told the story? It started a fire in him. That means what? He, it, did something to his heart that he was like, wow, I want to do the same. And it says it was never extinguished. What does extinguished mean? That's a big word. See extinguished right here? Extinguished means it was never put out. Like if we see a fire, what do we got to do? We're going to be like, fire, fire, someone put on the sirens. And then we're going to put water on there. And then we're going to try to get the fire out. But the fire in his heart never died. He always had a passion for this. Now he was sure that the Western ocean could be crossed and that there was land far side. These lands must be part of Asia for no one had ever heard of other countries than Europe, Africa, and Asia. He also began to think that the Lord had chosen him to sail the west across the sea to find the riches of the east for himself and to carry the Christian faith to the heathens. So what he also wanted to do what? He wanted to sail himself and he wanted to do, he wanted to carry the faith to people who didn't know God. And he, wa he also wanted to find riches along the way. His name was Christopher. Had not the Lord chosen his name Saint, Saint Christopher to carry 
the Christ child across the dark water of a river, he must have ships. He must have men to sail the west to reach the east. He must find a king to be his patron. So what did Columbus need? He needed someone to fund his trip. Cause remember he said, I must have ships. And what do ships, they cost money. I must have men to sail um, west. And um, can you just find people and take them aboard? No, he has to pay them as well. So a patron is, he needs to find a king, someone with a lot of money to pay for his trip to travel. So that way he can what, bring, um, religion to the heathens and to bring or and to also gain what did he want he wanted um to find a uh, treasure along the way he wanted to do what leif erickson had done so he needed what a boat do you think a boat is expensive or cheap it is pretty expensive like a lot of money expensive all right it's even back then it was so he needed what he needed a ship he needed men now were men gonna go on the ship with him if he was not gonna pay them, no, but how can he pay them if he doesn't have money for it? So he needs money for a ship, he needs money for men. And what else does he need? He needs the king's blessing, why? Because if he doesn't have the king's blessing, who's gonna pay for this trip? Exactly, he wanted the king to pay for his journey, all right? So that was today's story of Christopher Columbus. Moving on to our paper. Um, so what happened? We have Leif Erikson, who was what? He was a Viking. And he what? He inspired Christopher Columbus to sail just as he had years ago. In fact, 500 years ago. So here is the map of where Leif Erikson right here had traveled to. All right, we can see his um, traveling journey. And right here, we have another picture of him uh, on a boat. Now this is Leif Erikson, or picture to believe to uh, a picture for us to believe what he might have looked like back then. All right, Leif Erikson was a Viking. Vikings typically had very big beards. They had hats with either horns coming out or in this case, it looks like he has some wings coming out of his um, hat. If I find any Viking pictures, I will post one to you later. All right, Vikings, um, they even had different types of ships. So if we look in our book right here, let me see where it's at. So let's see, this is Christopher Columbus ship. See right here, this is a regular ship. All right, now Viking ships looked like this right here. See that right there on the very top? It looks different, huh? That's because that is a picture of a Viking ship. So even their ships look different, their clothes, um, their manners were much different. All right, so uh, for our first one, it says knowing History helped Columbus, who had traveled west 500 years before Columbus. What was his name? Leif Erikson. So let's go ahead and write Leif Erikson right there. Press pause if you need to. Excellent. And then on the bottom it says he, we're gonna write down, I didn't say anything. <laughs> he was a Viking. So let's go ahead and write Viking on the bottom. Perfect. All right, so that is it for today's literature. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I will see you in the next literature video. Great job.